Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how you can create a simple Kira Kira sparkly glitter effect like this in the Sparky AR Studio and I will also provide you all the assets you need as a free download. So let's start. Hey again, so let's create this Kira Kira effect here in the Sparky AR Studio. Before we start creating the filter, we have to make sure that we have ready all of our assets because we need the, um, yeah, the sparkles which will appear on the screen as a PNG file. I created some sparkles for you and yeah, I linked them in the description. So just click on the link in the description, go to my Dropbox site and click on download. After you have downloaded it, you can unzip the zip folder and then you will find, find this Kira sparkles folder inside. There you will have um, yeah, a collection of different sparkles and then we can start. So the first thing is of course to import one of the sparkles you have just downloaded into the Spark AR Studio. So I will um, go with sparkle free and then I will set after importing the texture the compression to none. The next thing is of course to create a material we need for this filter. So I will just create a material and we'll call it Kira Kira. The next thing is also a very important step because we have to import an asset, a patch asset. But we can find this patch asset in the Spark AR library. So go to the left side and click on the asset library. Here click on um, patch assets and search for simple Kira. Then you will find this batch asset, just click on it and then click on import free. After the download is finished, you can close the AR library and we can continue creating the filter here. So the next step is that we open our patch editor. Then just drag and drop the simple Kira patch you have just created into the patch editor. So here we have the patch with the different settings. And yeah, the first thing we have to choose a sparkle. We already imported one. So just uh, click on the drop down menu and here click on the sparkle you have imported. So we can set the um, left, leave the shift to zero, zero, and then set the pixel count to a value between two and 32. Um, I will set it at the beginning to then, but I will show you later on what, um, what this value will change afterwards. So the next thing is that we need a camera texture. Here we go to our scene, click on the camera, go to the right hand side and click on the little plus next to texture extraction. Now we can find our camera texture in the assets panel. Just drag and drop the camera texture in the, sp uh, in the patch editor. So now we can connect the RGBA output of the camera texture into the camera texture input of the simple Kira patch. So now device resolution, here we need our device patch. So go again to the scene panel, click on the device and just drag and drop the device into the patch editor. So now you will see this patch in your patch editor and now just connect the screen size output of the device patch with the device resolution input of the simple Kira patch. So last thing we have to do here in our patch editor is to import our uh, material. For this click on the Kira Kira material we have created, go to the right hand side at first set the shader type to flat and then cl just click on the little arrow next to texture under the diffuse tab. Now we see also our um, material as a yellow patch in our patch editor. And now we can just connect the output of the simple Kira patch of, with the input of the Kira Kira material. So now we can't see any Kira Kira effect here, but we will change this now. For this, we have to add a new object to our scene. We have to add a rectangle object. So just import it and then it will appear here on the left upper corner. Um, Spark AR will also create automatically a canvas object for this, where the rectangle is a child of it. So now click on the rectangle object, go to the right hand side and set the width with a click on the, in the field to fill width and also do this with the height. So now the rectangle fills the whole height and uh, um, width of the viewport and now the last thing we have to do is to choose the material um, for this rectangle and yeah, after this is done, 
you can already see um, yeah, the Kira Kira effect in action. So before I will continue with um, the settings of the simple Kira effect here, uh, make sure that when you have a, also applied a lot to this filter, it may be that the uh, um, Kira Kira effect is visible um, here in the viewport, but when you imp um, export it to your phone, it will disappear. So make sure that you set the um, material, uh, the Kira Kira material, the advanced render option um, here to none. So disable both of them. And so you can make sure that the Kira Kira effect is also visible when you export it um, to your phone and also disable the settings um, at your LUT layer when you have one. So, and um, now we can play around with the simple Kira um, settings here. So when you shift the pixel count to, let's say 20, there are much more um, sparkles here on the screen and they are smaller. And when you shift it um, back to five, they are much bigger sparkles here. Um, the shift will just shift the uh, um, pixels of the sparkles. And um, this is um, just useful when you have more layers of a Kira Kira effect. So you can do this multiple times and then you can shift um, the X or the Y. So they are not overlaying when you have a multiple rectangles with, a, with some Kira Kira effects applied. So yeah, this was the magic um, behind the Kira Kira effect here in the Spark AR Studio. If you like this video and if you, if I could help you, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.